Hello friends, how we doing? It's your pal Keith. I am here again live in the control room at Essex Recording Studios just outside London in England in the former Global Radio Headquarters building. Yes, we are down here. I've got an ESP 7-string Telecaster to share with you guys today. We just did a video of another one that was, uh, I think, a year younger, 2013, shared at a year older. This is a year younger. Year older, 2013. This one's a 2014. And the other one was a NAM Expedition. Oh, expedition. What's with words today? Exhibition. Exhibition guitar. This one also came from the European distributor. It's brand new. Never been owned. Very, very cool. And a little blast from the past. 2014. Six years old. Almost seven. Really close to the new year. And uh, some awesome features you just don't get anymore. If you're new to the channel, hit like, hit subscribe, and follow us on our socials. It's at Essex Recording Studios, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that jazz. Yes! And if you want to buy this guitar, it will be put up for sale on Reverb.com, our very good friends Reverb, and on EssexRecordingStudios.com. It's our website. And if you want to record with it, by all means, get in touch. So, what we have here is the new E2 series at the time, about one year into the E2 series. And what ESP did is they said, look, ESP, you get it at the 12th fret. If you want it up here, you gotta go through the custom shop. Also, we're gonna do some cool funky models that we don't even do in our custom shop. And we're gonna test the waters a little bit. We gotta compete with all these new boutique dealers that are doing all these crazy seven strings, all these tech metal guitars, all this cool stuff. We've kind of uh, slipped behind the pace in the pack here. We need to catch up. So, early on into these new crazy decisions ESP was making was born this guitar. And we've had, we have another one, like I said, a NAM exhibition guitar. We also had the baritone versions, which have satin black finish. They both have the, uh, the really cool perloid binding. I love this all the way around the neck and headstock. This one's got a beautiful rosewood fretboard. I mean, absolutely beautiful. 24 frets and a gloss black finish. Honestly, I don't know, you know, what the huge difference is with the baritone. To me, the guitars look virtually identical aside from the finish. I mean, it's 24 frets. It's seven strings. If you want to get some low baritone notes, I'm sure you can, you know. Um, but... More technical, knowledgeable guitarists can chime in and talk about scale length and, you know, I just, I just don't see what this one can't do that the, the B7, this is the T E7, you know, I imagine they both can very much do the same things. Maybe I'm way off here. I'll let you guys comment and chime in on all the controversy. Uh, by the way, check out all the silica gel you get with it. My God, you know what I think's going on here? So ESP is real skimpy on the case candy. You get a weird, you know, Japanese little instruction guide on something. Was it tuners? How to string the guitar? Cool. Uh, ESP crack pipe, as I say, and some keys. That's about it. Uh, you do get the fret protector. Where did I put that fret protector? There it is. Now this is cool. This is something every brand should adopt. And what is what it's important for is if it, this is ever in its case and it travels and weights put on this or uh, it's in storage for a long time, and again, people will stack cases on top of cases and everything, these strings can actually eat into the frets. I've seen it happen on guitars stored for a long time. So this just helps uh, absorb that. It's not a very common scenario. It's probably not even common enough to warrant producing these on mass scale, but it's a very thoughtful and very nice thing. Uh, anyway, back to the silica gel. I don't know what the deal is with this. There's so much of it that comes with guitars from ESP. I'm thinking that there's some sort of, I don't know, industrial waste company that conned all the guitar companies in Japan into thinking like this is a brilliant thing. Look, guys, we're going to sell you all of this silica gel. We make this stuff. It's super cheap. And uh, yeah, now next thing we know, we've got, uh, I guess, very dry cases you know I don't, I don't know how functional this stuff is i kind of think of it as quackery if you don't know what quackery is google it 
look up the definition. But, you know, really? Four different pouches? I guess if you want to start your juggling career, you're, you're off to the races. You got a good start there. Back to the guitar. You've got EMG. They're uh, seven string versions. If I guess what's an EMG. Uh, uh, what did I say? Blah, blah, blah. An EMG 81. Because you got silver font and silver font. And the color of the font dictates the style and the tones of the pickups. So this looks like to me two of the, the 81 seven string pickups. So I guess if Kirk Hammett was going to rock out on a seven string, this would be the one. Bridge looks pretty epic. It really does. Nice string through, very clean, very elegant. Loving the toggle switch with the big, big plastic switch. Ooh, just came off. Let's, uh, aha, there we go. Push that back on. Boom, back on. Yes. The pots, pots feel very, very weighty. Spinning this around. This is what I love. I love neck through Telecasters. I think they look the business. A lot of things I love about the features on these fish hook. They call this the New York style. This is a more modern fish hook style ESP uh, headstock. And I guess it's because it's a seven string. Got the Godot tuners. But look at this. This is where ESP makes their money. The brush steel, nine volt battery cavity. You've got the string ferrules that are all flush with the body you've got the back cover i call it the coffin cover flush with the body inspection sticker still there plastic still on it of course because this is brand new i've noticed there's a few little light lacquer marks just from handling and it being in and out of the case the story behind this why we have this brand new guitar that's never been sold to anyone it's never even been in a in a dealer's uh showroom is because the UK distributor went out of business. They went out of business. And part of why businesses go out of business is because they don't manage their inventory correctly. It's a good way to go out of business. And they had lots of guitars that they just forgot about. That's the best way I can put it. They weren't keeping track, they forgot about it. New guys come in and go, holy smokes, there's loads of new old stock laying about. Keith, do you want it? Can you help us out? And I said, yes. Absolutely. I got the entire stock. I cleared out the entire European uh, warehouse of their old inventory. We did a little bargain and uh, it was very interesting. Very interesting working with ESP. Uh, found out a lot of annoying things about the company, mostly on the USA side. They're, uh, you know, it's a Japanese company and long story short, the Japanese company is pretty much primarily concerned with Japan. And if you're outside of Japan and you're buying an ESP, you're really almost 99% likely to be dealing with a dealer that has to go through the USA distributor who pretends to be ESP. It's very annoying. It makes things way more expensive for everyone. And in the end, we had to cut our ties with them. It was just ridiculous. I've later spoken to uh, other endorsed ESP artists and former ESP artists, including probably the most famous former one they've ever had. And yeah, not impressed at all with the ESP USA team. That being said, this is not a USA model. This is the proper Japanese model. And uh, I've got nothing but good things to say about this seven string. It's epic. It's awesome. And it very much has boutique vibes, but, uh, you know, all of that craftsmanship, attention to detail, and just perfection, uh, aside, aside from the, uh, the, uh, the loose switch cover, can't blame that, six years of being in the warehouse, we'll get that sorted. But uh, all the attention to detail and the fit and finish that a company that is as experienced as ESP is... Um, you know, you get that with this. Cool. Alrighty, dudes. I got to get going. I've got dinner waiting. I've got a few cold beers waiting for me. It's uh, Black Friday. I'm uh, going to not try and drink too much beer and then go on eBay and spend too much money. We'll see what happens. Definitely doing some Black Friday shopping. If you guys know any deals, post it in the comments. Uh, my deals, I can tell you, we've got pretty sweet deals on security system. We uh, did that on Amazon, I think. 
What else did we do? We got pretty sweet deals on some lighting from Neewer, some camera stuff that we're gonna put to use here on the YouTube channel. And uh, aside from that, oh, we got some neon signs. Yes, we got some really cool neon signs coming. I already bought all my computers last year from Dell, did their Black Friday special, so I don't think we can do any more computers. Um, but we shall see, I'll let you know tomorrow. All right, I am out of here. Thanks for hanging out, guys, at Essex Recording Studios, all the socials. Check out King of the Dead, Control, new release we just had from here. Um, yeah, that's it. Catch you all later. See ya.